Hello. I'm Tim the Tech Guy. For Tri Tech Monitors, the Cardiac Monitoring Specialists. Today we are going to learn how to manage the MFM CMS Telemetry Systems Desktop. Patient Capacity The MFM CMS is an extremely versatile central station with the ability to change its patient capacity based on need. You can change screen capacity by first clicking the System Setup button located here. Then choose the Common Setup tab in the next screen. Now, find and click on Display Setup in the option list below. You will see a display table layout of our current screen capacity setup for six patients. To change this, click on the down arrow beside display bed number. From here, you can change patient capacity from as little as three patients to as many as 32 patients. For example, this is how your screen would look with just three patients. At the other extreme, this is how your screen would look with 32 patients. But for our next example, we will change our screen to display six patients. Now, click on main screen to lock in our selection and see the change display. Important. When downsizing the screen capacity, it is always a good idea to click on the sequence button first, which will automatically bring all active patients together in sequence with one another. Never decrease your screen capacity below the actual number of active patients. This could result in one or more of your active patients not being displayed. Patient Slot Location Management The location you choose to display patients on the screen is your choice and totally customizable by you. For example, I currently have two patients admitted to the screen. This one is an IT20 telemetry patient. And this one is an IM70 bedside monitor patient. If I decide that I want to display telemetry patients on the left side of the screen and display bedside patients on the right side, then I can move this bedside patient from this left-hand slot location to a slot location on the right side. First, find a vacant slot on the right you wish to move the patient into. Then click in this general area. You will see a drop-down menu appear with a show command of all the currently active admitted patients. Individual patients can be identified by their bed number. The bed number will be the first number in the information header located here. For example, if I want to move this patient in bed 111, then I would pick Show bed 111 here to move that patient into this slot location. Your patient has now moved to a different screen location. Swapping slot locations. You can swap already active patient positions very easily on the MFM CMS central station. First click in the information header of the slot you wish to move the patient into. Then, just choose the show bed number from the slot you wish to swap with you will see your selected bed swap into this new location. Setting idle bed. Patient slots can exist in one of two conditions. It can either be assigned a patient device or be set to idle bed. An idle bed can be recognized by the word disconnected written in that slot location. A slot with an assigned patient will have bed information assigned to it, like this one. This first number is the assigned bed number and this number is the channel number of the device. CH stands for channel number. Any number in brackets like this one is the last octet of the device's IP address, followed by the patient's name or ID number. Numerical channel sequence. You may want all your devices to remain in perfect numerical order and never change their positions on the screen. This can be easily accomplished by following a few simple guidelines. Step 1. Start with a blank slate, with all slot positions set to idle. In a disconnected state. Step 2. Next we must admit all your devices in their proper numerical order on the screen. For example, I have turned on all six of my transmitter devices, and they are now ready for admission. Starting with channel 1, admit that device to the screen. There is no need right now to fill out patient information. We are just reserving device locations. Now admit channel 2. You will notice that it will appear in the next available slot right after channel 1. Now, continue until all your transmitters have been admitted. When you have finished, 
all six transmitters will be admitted in sequential order. Step 3. Now, discharge them all one at a time, but do not set any of the channel slots to idle. The next time you admit one of these channel devices, it will automatically show up in its assigned slot. Important. This numerical configuration can only be retained, if no one sets any one of its slots to idle. It is very important, that all potential users of this software are aware of this feature, and how to disable it when needed. Large Font Mode Another great feature you should be aware of, is Large Font Mode. While using bedside and vital signs monitors, you may only need to monitor a patient's vital parameters. Large font mode enlarges these numbers, making them easily visible from across a room. It does this, by not displaying the waveform data. To turn large font mode, on or off, first click in the patient information header, or in this general area. You will now see two command lines, for large font mode. Placing a check mark beside either one of these will enter that channel slot, or all slots, into the selected mode. Display the window in large font, will place just the slot selected in large font mode. Display all windows in large font, will place, all. The admitted patients in large font mode. Important. Large font mode does not display any waveform data, like an ECG waveform. If you require any waveform monitoring, make sure that large font mode is turned off, for that channel. I hope you have enjoyed this instructional video. Please visit our website at trytechmonitors.com for more videos like this one. Until then, happy monitoring.